I made it big here in the UK as a model back in the late 1990s. But since then, I've spent years building my own little business empire, launching my own lingerie and product range. Being an American woman, entrepreneurship is a part of my DNA, but it still seems British women are far more reluctant to go it alone in business. So what's holding them back? I'm thinking for a lot of women out there, mm -hmm. if they've got you know, young children in particular, it's probably quite a difficult thing to do, isn't it, is to start up your own business? I mean, the VT with this young girl, Jessica, she was raised in extraordinary circumstances. She had a daughter at 17 years old, and everyone kept saying, what are you doing? Come on, just be another statistic. She said, absolutely not. And she kept pushing, and she kept pushing, and she did research. You can get everything online right now. There is absolutely no excuse why, if you have a dream, why you can't attain it. Uh, a lot of people, they look at Caprice, right, and they think, she's just a pretty face, right? But they'd be very, very wrong. I started a business uh, four years ago, and I sell lingerie, and that went exceptionally well. So now I'm selling lingerie, swim, sleep, occasion wear, jewelry, shoes. All of it! Everything. All of it, right. well, Even in this horrible economy, it's still going. The model Caprice knows what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur, but only a tiny minority of businesses in this country are led by women. So why is this? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, I mean, I came out of my mom's stomach thinking I'm going to own America. You really? Know? Yay! <laughs> it's just an American stuff. thing. We just have, we're fearless. For me, even though I know I'm in the public eye and people think, oh, it's so much easier, but it's actually really difficult for me because people thought, oh, she's a model. She can't do it. Mm. You know what I mean? And they didn't have a lot of confidence. So I was being, you know, when I opened the, right when I opened my doors, I already thrust it in, you know, a quarter of a million pounds into my business. I didn't know that I was going to have to keep pushing hundreds of thousands of pounds. I mean, I didn't allocate for all this. Mm. So I went to the bank and got a line of credit, and even the bank wouldn't give it to me initially. What's going to get us out of a recession is setting up small businesses. Yeah. That's what's going to, it's the big businesses that have killed us. It's one of my best sellers, probably because you'll look like Dolly Parton when you put this one on. But what if you want to go the other way? She looks like she just dropped two sizes in a matter of one second. And this is what I'm talking about. This is what a bra could do. Now the model who says that she knows what women really want. But Caprice has plans to turn herself into an international brand and in the process build the world's largest lingerie company. A lot of the people don't know that I'm not a licensed deal. I actually started this and I facilitate the day in, day out. Even all my emails that go through all the people that work in my office come to me. This is not just a branding exercise. This is your no business. Way. So how big business. can it become? Well, I'm hoping that I'll be one of the biggest lingerie companies in the world. Well, you're well known. Your face is recognized all over the world. Does the brand die with your modeling No, career? no, no. This is a business, you know. I'll find another face to put to the brand, and I'll continue to run my business. Will that work? Mm. I mean, you know, in, in times to come, a new supermodel, let's call her Janet. Oh. Janet can do the Caprice range. Well, Does it work? Wouldn't Janet want to do the Janet range? <laughs> well, no, because Janet doesn't have the brains that Caprice has. So.